good. Ooh, I did that again. Um, it is, oh, it is 6.40 already. So today's going to be my first official day using this camera for the entire day. Um, so we shall see how this works. I'm going to sit down and do my makeup. Um, we shall see how this works and see if it was, I hope it was a good investment. Again, it wasn't an expensive investment, but it, you know, any anytime you spend money on something, you want it to work and expect it to work and things like that. So I hope, um, so far, as far as handling the camera, um, the weight is awesome, the size is awesome, like I feel like I can just grab it in and out. Not that my phone wasn't, but it was a little bit heavier, and I feel like this is a little bit more discreet. And um, again, that never stops me from using it, but it is much nicer, like once you're on the other side, you're like, oh, okay, now I see why this can, this can work a lot better. Um, not that you can't do it with your phone, but again, it, it just works better. You, you know, it goes from good to better. So I'm going to test it out and see if I like it and um, see if I'm going to be keeping it. I hope I am because I love the size again. I mean, I think I've said that like 30 times since yesterday's video. So I want it really badly to work. I really, really do. So we shall see. Something that I've also noticed and I have to get used to it and um, I was noticing in the two clips that I recorded last night was the audio. The audio is definitely different than my phone and I don't know if it's better or worse or just different um, well it is different for sure so I feel like I have to speak louder and I am pretty loud in person like I'm <laughs> pretty loud so it's kind of like if I have to speak louder then that's gonna be so annoying for everyone around me um, but I, I can always just adjust the volume on my editing software if if I feel like it needs to go up for whatever reason. I've done that a few times where, you know, if it was a little bit louder outside, I had to kind of raise my volume up so that you can hear me. Um, but I haven't done it as much because I feel like my phone had a good audio. This is just different. I, and I, it could be that I'm just so used to listening to the way my voice sounds when I record it on my phone <clears throat> that now that I edit those clips, like, it just sounds different. So I might just need to get used to it and maybe that comes along with like changing equipment. Yeah, this is my first time doing it. So that's something that I definitely noticed and give me some feedback on that because, you know, maybe I should be speaking louder and annoy everyone around me or maybe it's just something that I just need to get used to and likewise for someone watching that they just need to get used to as well. Um, I feel like I, I keep going closer and closer into my face and this one has a pretty uh, wide angle like oh sorry I'm looking at a mirror <laughs> I'm looking at a mirror because I can't see myself so since I'm new here we go like I got to figure out what a good angle is and it seems like this 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 is like you can see my face and everything around me and I'm not like half cutting because that's something that my phone also now that we're comparing and comparing, this is just going to be a review video <laughs> I feel like but my phone I, you know even if I held it farther away like I had to hold it really far away in order to get even like kind of this this look and I'm not even extending my whole arm right now because my muscles yeah right uh, my my whole arm um, to get my whole face and with my phone I kind of had to do that a lot which is why my face was pretty like close with my phone and I was all up in there but with this one you know I just moved back a little and I it's it's a wider angle uh, lens so I like that I do so that's another plus um, what else did I notice I feel like my phone in low light works a little bit better um, but I don't tend to record that many night clips anyways because usually once the sun goes down like I'm busy with Cyrus's homework and my homework and cooking and stuff like that and if I do I'm usually in the kitchen and I'll just record hey this is what I made for dinner you, I mean you guys know so but I don't do a lot of talking and recording an activity at night that is worth recording like on a daily so 
so I don't think that that's really going to be an issue and if I do absolutely I, I have my phone so I could always just record that for better lighting but a uh, majority of my recording is really early in the morning through like five o'clock but um, yeah I, I definitely so it's got like its pros and cons there's things that I absolutely love about this that my phone just didn't have and like a few things from my phone that I'm like okay and I knew that was gonna happen because I know I'm not buying a really expensive camera this is about a hundred dollars and as it is I'm telling you I've been eyeing this camera for like two months because I am pretty frugal person and I tend to really think about things and review and I looked at so many cameras and and I feel like okay I think this is gonna be the best for my buck and for me spending on hundred dollars is that something spending fifty dollars is worth thinking about because I went through a situation here let's get let's get deep and personal in the morning I went through a situation when I first lost my job um, this was the first time I had ever gone through that and it really it really taught me something that I was never good at to begin with. I was getting better, but my financial management was awful. And that's just because I worked a lot and I made a lot of money, but I also spent it just as bad. And it started with before I had my son, and then once I had my son, I couldn't control it as much. I, I did my best to control it, but I really wasn't good at it. So I've kind of lived my life ever since just worried and scared about not having money so for me making that 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 expenditure and when I do treat myself because I know lately you guys have seen a lot of like well you've been going to the store a lot but if you watch all of my videos before that you will see that they're just hey activity videos I really like this is like you won't see me going to the store unless I, I I need to buy like necessary things like I need to go buy eye makeup remover or like little things like that but as far as like that's why I went and bought his shoes and I, I, I made this purchase and you know I had to plan everything out because I think that that's just gonna stay with me because that experience really changed me going through that financial crisis that I went through that I refused to not have money saved up I refused to just spend money like okay you know it may seem from the outside looking in like well you just went and spent a lot of money but the reality is it, it took me a long time to get there like to make that decision to say okay it's time you know that's the only reason why Mr. CJ got his shoes because he's like I looked at his shoes and I go okay it's time I think I waited too long <laughs> like it's been a minute that I've bought him new shoes so um, I will make sure that everything gets used and abused before I toss it and have to buy a new one. Because I look at it and I go, nope, you can still use that for a whole nother month. Like that's just the way I am. And in part it could be because I don't ever want to go through that. Well, I know it is. But um, it also taught me a lot of life lessons not to not appreciate what I have. Um, because I, I just, I had to downgrade my entire life. And it was a great experience. I'm not complaining. I, I'm so happy that I went through that. But it really just, it really changed me. I, you know, not going to lie. It really changed me. And now I'm in a position where I can breathe a little. And I'm able to do more for myself. And I'm able to enjoy things like this. I, you know, I've been wanting to vlog for a while. But... Even when I had my phone and I could have vlogged, I just wasn't ready mentally as well. I would just wasn't ready. I've never been a shy person, so it was never an issue of being on the camera. Um, and it, obviously it's not an issue of being overweight because <laughs> that's kind of the underlining foundation of my channel, even though it's very much like that's the foundation, but, there, but this is also a lifestyle channel, not a lifestyle, a vlogging channel. But... So it's never been an issue of that. It was just more of a mental issue. Is more of a, how can I sit here, record myself, and really be me when I'm not me? And I'm not 100% happy. And I'm not saying I don't have bad days. Obviously, you guys see that I do have days where I'm just like, this sucks. But I, those are occasional. Those are regular human being bad days. Before, it was just, I was just in my own little zone, and I was just trying to stay alive from drowning and, um... It was just a lot of self-reflection, but I, you know, I've been talking a lot, but you know, I guess that's what happens. <laughs> I just wanted to share that with you guys and, and 
and kind of give you a background as to my thought process when it comes to purchasing something. And some of you guys may relate, some may not. Maybe you guys can give me words of encouragement um, and if you've ever been through a similar experience. We're headed to CJ school. Say good morning. Good morning. I gotta get my angles with this. Okay, well this is definitely a lot harder to do. Uh, it's a lot harder to do with a new camera. I gotta like, I keep looking at mirrors because I don't know if I'm I'm in the screen or not. So just just bear with me. Just bear with me. Okay. chance to show you this morning um, what I did for breakfast today and I wanted to show you guys um, what I did see if anybody could uh, use this tip so what I did today and I don't know why I hadn't done that before oh the uh, I, I well one I used my message mason jar for the first time and even though I didn't do a and overnight, I'm just going to add hot water to this um, only because I don't have almond milk or else I would add, um, I would heat up some almond milk. But hot water should be fine. I added the tiniest bit of brown sugar, if you can see that. <laughs> um, that here is not brown sugar. It's actually flaxseed. So the only brown sugar is this here. Uh, it's got oatmeal and chia seeds. So I'm going to fill the majority of I'm going to leave some space so I can shake it up. Maybe like I'm gonna fill it up maybe up to here with water. I like my oatmeal pretty thick. I don't like it too watery, like more on the thicker side. I do like a little bit of, of juice in there, but not too much. Um, yeah, so if you're like me and on the go and I didn't have time to have breakfast and have time to even make myself an egg, and then I was talking to y'all for like ever, um, I did this really quick. I just threw it in there and now that I'm here at work, I'm going to add the water and let it rest for maybe 10 minutes or so until I get myself situated. I've got time. I came in, um, a little bit earlier. Uh, so, and then I brought chicken from Pollo Loco. I did have that yesterday. So I brought two pieces that I had left over, uh, and coleslaw, and then I brought my own avocado some cashews to snack on because I'm trying to snack on a little I don't I think that part of the reason maybe why I didn't lose weight was because I really haven't been eating and I that's not good for your metabolism to go so many hours without eating and then having a meal like it's just it was wonky so I'm trying to force myself to go back to having snacks in between and I'm gonna attempt it little by little but that is my uh, start so that's what I did for lunch today. Hopefully you guys can use that if you're ever running late That's a real quick easy thing to do idea and it's pretty nutritional especially if you add extra stuff you can even throw um, Fruit in there really quick by the time you get to work or do all that. It's not gonna go bad. So hey, I am back home and I am it's a little past 830 and I'm actually gonna attempt to go to sleep this is what happened yesterday so yesterday's uh video i ended up being extremely tired which i was um i was so 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 sleepy so i had every intention of editing the video yesterday's video today but um i don't know if you noticed or not but the video ended up going up around one o'clock in the morning like pacific standard time and that's because when i when i'm really tired i when I go to sleep, I have to have a little bit of background noise. And sometimes music will do, but sometimes putting on, like, usually Netflix is what I do. Because it's, like, a continuous, and I'll put on, like, a series of something. And I will go to sleep. It just, it just kind of helps me go to sleep right to the point where I'm able to just turn it off and go to sleep. But once in a while, and this is where it's, like, kind of not the good part once in a while I will not go to sleep and little by little I was just regaining energy and not being sleepy so today I am even though you don't see it and that's because I'm like really trying to be energetic for the camera because the last thing I want to do is be like guys okay so today like nobody wants that so 
I am really tired and at work it was harder today than it was yesterday because of the lack of sleep. I only had got like four hours of sleep. It was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and so as the day went on, I got more and more tired. Like my morning was okay. And then my, you know, just it, it worsened. Then unfortunately today, Mr. CJ had another little, he had an accident with another um, young boy at school and it was, it was a complete accident. But what really made me upset is he knows that there is a rule for no toys. You are not allowed to take toys to school. And once in a while, he'll be a little sneaky, sneaky. And so unfortunately, the accident that happened happened with the toy that he wasn't supposed to bring to school. So I just kind of had to deal with that. And when he's upset and things like that, um, I'll talk about it afterwards and he knows and he, we talked about it already But I don't like to just like put the camera on him You know because I actually grabbed the camera when I got off the car because I'm like, okay If he's dirty like he was yesterday like I want to I want to catch that because it's ridiculous Like I know some of you guys feel me and I'm not exaggerating my son gets really dirty when I pick him up So I brought the camera down with me in the car. I remembered this time, but unfortunately I was hit with that news and I just don't feel comfortable putting, you know, that, that's like, when it's like disciplining time, it's not time to put it out there like that. It's disciplining time. Like, it, I'm mom always first. I'm mom first at all times. So that's why, <laughs> fast forward to now, 8.30, I just got out of the shower. I'm tired. My friend, my best friend came today. Um, which I knew was like any day, any day. So that's the situation where I'm at now. And, um, I'm debating whether I should watch, like turn on the Netflix like I usually do because I feel like I'm really going to go to sleep or if I should attempt to edit this video because it is 8.30. It's not super late. If I could get it done within an hour to an hour and a half, that's still pretty good timing. It's like usually the time that I would go to sleep, but I'm not sure. Either way, I just wanted to keep you guys updated for the rest of the vlog because it's going to go from like, hey, to whoa, <laughs> it's the end of the vlog. Um, yeah, so that's what happened today. And I mean, I know a lot of you guys are parents and if you're not, then just a little taste of what you are going to um, look forward to. Just, you know, it's life. It's life. It's life. Um, so we're doing a lot better. He's actually going to get ready to go to bed now. And do you want to say goodnight, Cyrus? I can't hear him. Um, he's going to get ready for bed. Mr. CJ. Mr. CJ is right here, CJ. Okay. Do you want to say goodnight? Good night, bye. <laughs> All right. Disappear and deep magic. Voila. And that, my friend, is how you do magic. See you guys on my next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo. And don't forget to subscribe.